Intimacy. <laughs> okay? So many questions about intimacy. Um, and I completely understand. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Welcome to the front of our Airstream with my mom. This is my mom, guys. Hey. Sia's mother-in-law. Yeah. And she has been with us for almost three months in the Airstream, traveling and living with us. Myself, my mom, Sia, our three-year-old daughter, and our dog, all in 200 square feet. Before inviting your mother or other family member to stay with you in your RV, there are things you're going to want to know and consider. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So in this video, we're sharing what we've learned from having my mom, Sia's mother-in-law, live with us for three months in our 31-foot Airstream. We'll be answering some of your questions that you've asked us on Instagram about living in this arrangement. Anyone want to shop before we start? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, straight up, okay. <laughs> We've all been living well, together the past three months. Okay, yeah, safe to say we can Almost. we can share a bottle of liquor. Sia and I uh, have our king size bed in the back that Kai joins us in most nights, kind of like halfway between the night. And sometimes she doesn't; she sticks to her bed. She also, yeah, also has her bed back there beside ours and then where we're sitting right now is where my mom sleeps so in the day thank you for giving us your bed to to do this, this yeah talk on. yeah yeah no problem i, share. I like <laughs> to share <laughs> this during the day this is a table actually that we're sitting on right now so it comes up and it's like a little like kind of lounge table area dining area we use it pretty much for dining working everything yeah and this then, is the main table and then in the uh, night you put it down and do up your bed right every night mm -hmm. every single night and dismantle it every single morning how long does it take you five minutes five yeah yeah, yeah you're pretty yeah. good you're, yeah. you're very diligent with it yeah you're actually the first person to spend more than like two nights on this intimacy <laughs> okay so many questions about intimacy see ya take it away <laughs> right um, Can you use the word tequila? It's been a, it's been a, a, a sad three months. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to be polite to the guests, so, you know. It isn't happening, people. Not in here. It feels like we're in high school again, and we have to, like, sneak out. Not very often, but whenever we can. And our truck has been... <laughs> I'm blushing right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. Not happened in here. <laughs> can I it's comment been, on that? Oh, you, you can comment, comment on you want. Yeah. Okay, so I'm obviously I've been totally aware of it and I do feel like every night I, I felt, oh, I feel so bad, you know, like I feel like I'm intruding, you know, like and, and they're a young couple and um, I felt bad about it, so I did encourage them to go on dates, which I was hoping that they would get intimate. <laughs> Honestly, felt like I was a little bit, un like, intrusive in that aspect, so I'm sorry, guys. We've gone on a few dates in the three months. That's not a lot, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> the sneaking has been fun. Yeah, oh, that's, that's been fun. That's yeah. been fun. We've been calling it... No, 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 no. <laughs> We have, no a we have a code word, but we won't say it. Okay, <sighs> moving on. Before we get into more juicy details of what it's been like living with my mother, Sia's mother-in-law, for the last three months, give this video a like and comment below and let us know, would you ever live with your mother, mother-in-law, in 200 square feet for a month or longer? Yeah. Let us know. Now let's talk about personal space. Demi and Elisa asked, do you get in each other's way? Yes. Like, even when it was just Sia and I, we would get in each other's way. Yeah. And now there's another adult, a child, and a dog, so. And you've never lived in this small space. Like, we're, we're kind of used to living in an environment that's tight. The only thing is, uh, in the Airstream, it's like, it's like when you're uh, waiting in line. You're waiting in line in a store or whatever. Like to, to to be able to pass through, 
<laughs> yeah. these narrow hallways, you know, or, you know, getting t into a cupboard and the rear end is in the way or, you know. It's been really hard for me because I, as an introvert, I need, like, my own space <laughs> and it never happens. And I felt, I shouldn't say never, it, like, it's hard to get it, it's very hard to get it. Not being able to, like, use the space to work because someone's sleeping or just like waiting for the washroom to be available or yeah it's hard it's not easy and yeah. it's definitely a not lot of background easy. noise too like if yeah. you just want some quiet it's like literally impossible in here you need to leave you know because there's a three-year-old child who's very active and vocal and um there's always that background noise atlas yeah. has it the best he has a cave yeah, that's right. He's like, talking kind of about me. Yeah, he's got a cave under our bed. He can just be like, peace. I'm going to my cave. Baby, come here, bud. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, best buddy. And we also have curtains uh, in the airstream, like halfway through the airstream, as well as like our bedroom, Kai's room. She loves closing her curtains. I don't blame her. So you can kind of get a little bit of a little bit of privacy, but it's best to just leave. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't even say it's on you. You're actually probably the easiest person um, to you. be in here with, yeah. Because you're very helpful and clean, you're, and you're clean, um, and you're also physically petite, right? You're a small, <laughs> compact Not person. Not even five feet tall, right? So, <laughs> so that makes it easier. Like, it, no matter who we're with in this space, whether it's like you know my my parents or a friend or you know whoever, um, it's it's a little tighter. You're you're dancing around each other in the space. Yeah, I got um, I, I I gotta say like if we if anybody like if we could do this with anybody you're the best person awesome, to do it with, you. but still really hard. <laughs> Two hundred square feet is very, very tight for, you know for anyone any even a single person. People complain about like four hundred square foot New York apartments. This is half of that, with More three people. adults and a kid and a dog and like camera equipment and we're always cooking toys. so there's food there's toys there's like an art space there's there's a lot happening at the same time okay let's talk about going to the washroom because that can be it could be awkward right you can hear everything yep every trickle every fart <laughs> one of us has really loud farts and take a second to guess <laughs> so wait a minute impressively wow. loud. wait a minute Impressive. i acquired a technique okay what's the technique one cheek the technique no is like just letting it out really slow and really long and as quiet as no, possible no, no you know what the loud ones i walk <laughs> away outside and, oh um they can be loud i have a Inherited from my dad, but anyway, I, have, I did not. I, have it. I did not inherit it. Uh, C and I have been together and have known each other for so. We've known each other and hung out since, like for seventeen years. We've been right. maybe eighteen years now. Right. No longer. We've been together for seventeen years. Yeah, we've been together okay. seventeen years. So we've been hanging out for like nineteen, twenty years. Mm -hmm. My mom has known him that long too. We've traveled a lot together. It's not like this is the first time you're hearing it. Oh no, it's not new. I was expecting it. Chores. Let's talk about that. Matchbox Events asked, did she empty the toilet stuff yet? <laughs> no. Let's talk about this first. Wait. Wait. For those of you who don't know <laughs> what we're talking about, <laughs> on Instagram, I, I asked you guys, I did a poll, should my mother clean out the compost toilet? I mean, she's using it, right? Why? Like, we're, we clean it, so should she? And more than, I think about 60% of you said absolutely she should. Have you done it yet? No way. That's your initiation. But yeah, you know what? You did, you I did didn't not get initiated. I said no because I didn't have a clue how it the process is, you know, like to empty out this toilet. I have to Wait clean your poop. <laughs> I have to clean your poop. But I cleaned so... your poop when you were a baby. That's not <laughs> Everyone is just like kind of constantly tidying up or doing dishes or cleaning. And, and I've noticed like a flow happen where... Um, if I'm doing dishes, you'll automatically like start drying them and putting them away. And if you're doing dishes, I'll autom automatically start drying them and putting them away. Cleaning is happening more often since you're here. There's an extra adult yeah. that, that likes being clean that's like, you know, 
active in, in sweeping and vacuuming and stuff. It's also been handy to have an extra person here when we pack up to move. Yeah. Because um, usually I do all the outside stuff, Kristen does the inside stuff, but now I find that you two are finishing in here faster and then um, coming outside to like finish everything so it, it does happen a lot faster. Yeah, that's actually been really nice. What have you learned about each other? <laughs> that's a great um, discussion. Wow. What have we learned about each other? I've definitely learned some like stories about like Kristen's past and your past and stuff. Yeah, me um, too, actually. It's been therapeutic. Like, Sia is a great person to talk to and I trust him. We've talked very honestly and open with each other and there's no like uh, holding back and um, it's been challenging for me because I'm not used to it but um, and sometimes it's, it, irri it irritates me a little bit because I, I feel like I'm opening up to someone and I'm not used to that. But that you know, after afterwards, I feel like like refreshed. I would say in the time you've been here, Kristen and I have gotten closer, and and I think that's because we got chances to actually go out yeah. and just be a couple. We have barely been on dates. Maybe ten dates, honestly. No, before since, my mom came, no, for like three dates. Like since Kai was born, like, like we have not been on very many, just like solo dates. Yeah. Um, and it's been very refreshing. We've gone on dates like you know every other week probably. We felt closer than we have been in a long time, which is which is nice because we got to feel like us again. And yeah. What life was like before we had a kid and a dog. Um, so important. Drum roll. I need a drum roll. <laughs> Would you do it again? Alexandra Jacobs on Instagram asked, how are you still alive? <laughs> I, I totally get that. Are you still alive? Like, I could never do this. It It is not an easy thing to do, no matter who it is with. Like, any other person, like having three adults, a child, a dog in here, um, it's, it's not easy at all. And I think a lot of people would not survive <laughs> past like a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about your own mothers or mother-in-laws living with you in a, in a very tiny space. Essentially in one room. It's, it's just, it's one room. You know, there's some curtains and some very thin walls, but it's, it's one space. With a kitchen and a bathroom and a kid's room and an art desk and an eating area. So, um, it's tight. Would I do it again? I think I, I would do it again with a specific time frame to know when they're coming and then how long are they going to stay yeah because we didn't have really a time frame this time like for this this situation i wouldn't do it as long as this has been yeah it's been a long time it's been it's been a really long to have to be all of us being here like i think a month is good at the same time our lives have been easier they've also been harder right like it's harder to travel with another person in here but it's also easier because there's there's help and we get time together. It's been nice to like see you hang out with Kai and like have yeah. her like have bonding time with her grandparent because I don't think Kristen or I ever no. had like long time bonding Never. time with our with Never. our grandparents. I was not close at all with my grandparents, and it's been uh, that's been my favorite part is Kai and my mom getting to spend so much quality time together and you getting to see her grow up like in such a important time like she's grown so much since first day you arrived to now. I like to share too that um, I have three other grandchildren who are much older than Kai and I was a grandmother in my 40s and I had a career and I was right into uh, working a lot of hours so I didn't really get the opportunity to be a true grandmother and I also like I at this age, I was not really ready to be a grandmother. So, and I, I have many regrets because I didn't get to spend more time with my other grandchildren, and I live with this every day. So, being 65 now, I, I had the opportunity to be a real grandma and spend time with my my Kai and hanging out together, watching movies, playing, pretending a lot of. Uh, we play a lot of games. Um, yeah, we pretend a lot. She loves to pretend. So, yeah, so it's kind of like I'm making up for it 
um, and it's been amazing. And I, she's, she has a very special place in my heart, and I love her so much. And I love all my grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, best and worst part. Best part, again, watching my mom and Kai spend time together, as well as getting um, the freedom to go out with you. The food. We're we're all like good in the kitchen. Breakfast, lunches, dinners, some amazing dinners. Amazing dinners. Hanging out with my Kai Kai. Uh, worst part, not having enough personal space. I just want more of it so badly in general. Same with me, <laughs> personal space. Yeah, I've seen Sia's butt a few times. Oh. Uh, I've walked into nice the washroom when Kristen, has, after she's had a shower, to ask her a question. She's going, Mom, what are you doing? I go, it's okay, I made you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's okay. <laughs> Boundaries. <laughs> Would you want your mom to see you naked right now? Uh, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is probably like, it's you having to see me when I'm at my worst. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. hard. I've that's learned, very I've learned, hard. I've, I, I've never known totally. you this way. What happens when I have a down day? Right. What, and you what can't does get it the look space like? That you need. Yeah. To, what does right? it look like when I have a bad day? Just yeah. personally, like even if no one else was here, just I would wake up and not be in a great mood. Um, and my interactions are coming off like rude, and I'm just not, I'm just not a happy person. Um, and it's hard to to hide that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Showing that side of me to someone that's, um, you know, the matriarch of the family is hard. Yeah, I actually agree with you. That would probably be the worst part too. It's like you just want that space when you're like in a mood and you just want time alone. You can't. It's just so chaotic. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this like sit down chat. We even learned things about each other just sitting here talking about it. So it's actually been kind of therapeutic. Nice. Um, to end this uh, three month journey that we've been on. If you've liked this video, be sure to check out our other ones. There's one on vehicle conversions, choosing the right vehicle for you, as well as a sit down chat with the duo at Exploring Alternatives about van life and is it right for you. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.